Yeah, the other day I um, went in St. Leonard's Church, Shipham, to not kill a bit of time. I wanted to go in there anyway, but it allowed me to go in there and have a look. Normally I'm passing by the churches and not always having time to go back in. Now today I can do the same, like I did with them um, when I did St. Leonard's. I can do um, St. James the Great at Winscombe. Have a wander around there. And then I can go into the, walk into the town, village, whatever, you, whatever it is Winscombe is, and get um, some Prosecco for this evening. Save me having to go into Tesco's when I get back. And um, get, myself, get myself a meal deal for now. I've got, I can always do a big cheese omelette or I've got other food. I can, I've got some tuna. There's lots I can do. So I don't have to go shopping. I don't want, I've often had to go shopping after I've been out for a hike. It's no joke. But I do do it often. I'll go in because the bus drops you outside Tesco, but you still got the walk home. You still got a quarter of an hour walk home after you've been out all day. I wonder if this is the Herdwick sheep that have been sheared. Could be, couldn't it? They're not used to that. I think no. That one over there looks like it could have been a herd wick because of the greyness. But they love it down here. Be a lot of uh, mutations are going on. It's a lovely meadow. Look, got the old farmhouse, which is always, I've always loved that little place. It's, looks like it's more covered in ivy than ever. And then you've got that lovely meadow down through there. Look. See? There's a butterfly there. Admiral. There, look. And you smell the scent here. It's gorgeous, isn't it? Right ahead of us, we've got Banwell Hill Fort with the big tree on top. People get to know when I refer to it a lot, what I'm talking about. I think I've walked all over this field before now. Oh, tree there, look. How lovely this is. I can smell and not sneeze or have any reaction to the wildflowers. It's a beautiful, beautiful aroma. Don't, I don't have any sneeze. I don't have any allerg allergic reactions when I'm out. I get them as soon as I get home. Right, I'm just going to turn off again, take some photos. Right, bye bye, drove. the old house. Lovely roses, they've always got lovely flowers here. Lovely flowers, aren't you? Got one. It's lovely. Oh, lovely flowers. I've spoken to the man. He comes from Cumberland himself. He's lived down here for loads of years. Yeah, he's been the the house there. He's got a few broad beans out. And they're all getting old. Everyone's getting older though. You can see when that happens and then of course you get that big house and somebody inherits it and they start carving it all up. You know what I mean? They've got the energy, see? The old Nissan huts there. It looks like a quite a little sad sheep over there. Well, it looks like it's got a black lamb. Oh, that looks like a black lamb there. Maybe there's a reason they've separated them from the others. Because you don't know if they're prejudiced, do you? You know what I mean? Sheep. Yeah, this old track here, this driveway. I just like it. 
I like the experience this. They're going to start getting to know me in Winscombe, you know, because I'm always usually the only one at the bus stop. You know? Because they all stare at the, in the pub. They'll stare at you. I always video as if I'm never going to come back, you know. I really like that place. I always liked it down there. And of course in the springtime you've got the daffodils and the bluebells and everything that line the route here. Yeah, I've always liked this. I like this place. Now there are other ways across down to the church which I haven't done for a long time because there's normally cows in the field. Um, there's a way through there and you go straight across, but I can see cows, so I won't be going in there. Yeah, I can see the cows now. And you go straight across and you go down into the wood. But I won't risk it. That farmer back in that place, he's guided me across the field before now when I was... He, he asked me if I was alright, I said, no, I don't like walking through the cows. So he led me across the field. See, there's cows over there. They might be on a different field to the one... But I've got a feeling that field might be open to this one here. I wouldn't go in there with them. Hello. Look at him stamping his foot. Where is it? You making a sand? Come on then. Hello, yeah, Mummers. I might have a calf, see? There's a little calf there. The old corral. You look at them all lined up. Look. Hello. You come in. Come on, Nam. Come on. Right here we are, back on the little pathway leading down to St James the Great Church at Winscombe. It's about 25 to 4. There's half an hour before a bus but we won't get it because we'd have to rush now. We'd have to speed down here and speed back through the town. Uh, and I just don't, but we've got two hours to wait when we know that bus is gone. See what I mean? So it's not easy. I know it can, I, it's too fine a line to do it. Do you know what I mean? I don't know if I would do it in time. I don't know if I would do it. This is what this is what I'm saying about when you're relying on public services. You know, it's like it's really awful, really. And then it's not hourly, you know what I mean? You, you're, you're there, but you're going to miss it. You've got to wait two hours. I'd done the walk really well. I wasn't rushing. <clears throat> I've got back in time if for a lovely five o'clock bus like I always used to. But there ain't one. You've now got to kill two hours. Which you can do. Um, I can sit in the graveyard for an hour. Um, or, or half an hour and then make my way into town and get uh, some bits from the co-op which I want to do. I'd rather do that, get some bits from the co-op now than um, 
have to rush it, do, go shopping in Tesco's when I get back. I, I'd rather get do what I'm going to do now, just take my time, have a look around St James's. The worst part is walking back into that town. Now, here is a busy road, and uh, but that's what I would do. But I don't want to pass the bus on route. That's the only thing. Now the old alternative is just walk now straight to the town. See if you can get there in time. But it'd be full of kids. It's um school bus. Yeah. So anyway, we're going down through the wood. Like I said, you can't just run down here. <sighs> I won't get home, let's put it this way, I don't get home to about three o'clock, uh, seven o'clock. I just get back in time for EastEnders, actually. Do you? Yeah. I'll just get back in time for EastEnders. But it'd be a nice day out, that's the thing. Then I've got to check to see if I've been bitten by a thousand ticks. So I'm just turning off again. Over now.